I don't know what the role is. F***ing handball! F***ing handball! Come on Rangers! Come on Rangers! He missed the whole game. The sun is shining in the market town of Dorking, where the staff of Dorking Wanderers and the local FA are preparing Meadowbank amid the September heatwave. Mark White's team are struggling. The defeat to Hungerford Town was followed by a disappointing 2-2 draw away to Chelmsford. It was a game that saw them recover from being a goal down before leading 2-1 deep into injury time. A 95th minute equaliser broke their hearts and left Wanderers languishing in 13th place. It's an ignominious position for a side that ended the previous season comfortably on top of the table before Covid intervened. And for manager slash owner Mark White, there's a lot to think about if he's going to kickstart his side's season. It's been a tough time, mate. Um, yeah, no, it's been a really tough time, do you know what I mean? We've uh, had, had what we thought was a good pre-season, big, definitely the best squad we've ever had, and then a little bit like the sort of film platoon, they've just, they've just gone down one, one after the other. Um, lost Fogden first game of the season for the season, you know, which is uh, one of our, you know, one of our premium players. Um, suspension to Taylor, followed injury to McManus, injury to Pryor, Covid for McShane. Um, get a boy on loan, Tilly from Crawley, great player, does his quad first game. Um, yeah, no, it's been really tough. Rutherford does his hamstring. I mean, if there's that many, I genuinely forget them. I would call it unprecedented in my time to see this many in one spate. But we've still played well in matches. And what we're sort of looking for now is to sort of draw a little bit on the reserve of the wondrous spirit, you know. But I'm, I'm, you know, we are relishing the challenge, to be honest, mate. You know, because it's for me, I just think, I can't wait to tell everyone to fuck off. <laughs> You know, when we're winning, do you know what I mean? That's, that's genuinely what I think. I'll be quiet about it and then just think, well, we'll have to do our thing. Bottom line is you have to take your medicine. You know, we've, um, uh, we've, had some, we've had some bitter bad luck and also we've done things wrong as a management team and the boys have done some things wrong as well. So it's a little bit of everything, but definitely overarching is a whole load of bad luck, do you know what I mean? So. In amongst all the injuries and absences was the surprise departure of goalkeeper Lee Worgan, a shrewd pre-season signing whose reasoning for leaving the club somewhat sums up the life of a non-league player. In non-league football really, he's, he's just had a baby, his wife um, works long hours, um, newborn, he works in a school, his career's going forward, so it was a bit, of a, a bit of a slog really for him, so I think he needed something closer to home. But I fucking love that Slav's going to play, do you know what I mean, because he's our good luck charm and he? he's everything we... You know, he, he, him today playing will mean everything to him. And, and they're the boys you need on the pitch. Come on, Turn it off. Right, boys, phones away, lads. You won't need those, apart from the music. I thought it was a brilliant, brilliant session Thursday. Now, there's a big difference between being relaxed and confident than being too relaxed, okay? So let's not. Let's not be over, let's not be over exuberant because we think we're confident about, we've had a great week training and I'm really confident in you and I know you're confident, I know you can't wait to get out there. But let's make sure we, we get everything right. The two things I want us to do today, just two things, two things. One is defend narrow at all times. Second thing is, can we take care of our um, final ball? We're getting so, we're, our pattern's been really good actually. You know, even though the, the, the points might not have been, our pattern's been great. We've got the ball in the areas we try to get it into and we've put balls in the box galore. But sometimes it needs either A, the winger to look up to see what the time of day is, B, a big call. You know, there's nothing better for a winger than if he's like, if he's just skinning someone looking at the floor and he hears someone go far post, he just thinks, well, there it is then. Sometimes you need that basic talking. You'll need to play in the right areas, Cal, okay? Uh, play high, play down the side. So uh, we'll see their team, but I think they play 3 5 2. Um, so, you know, anything here, here is a problem for them, okay? But I don't really want to get into over detail about the oppo at all, because this is fucking made for us out there today. There'll be a load of people here today. It's a nice fucking day. Delighted Slav's back. 2 1 down against Hungerford. He's not named, and he's running down the touchline 
throwing their bloke out of the way to get the fucking ball. Right, that's, that's how much he wants to win for this club. And I know you feel the same. That's great. Players like Slav are fucking what we need. Last week, it's a one in a million situation. I think we've done everything right. I thought we'd done everything right. And I know the first goal was a little bit, and it's just about that insurance stuff. It's just remembering that. It could be the first five minutes. The aim today is a clean sheet. The first, is it, would it be the first clean sheet, Sammy? The, the, yeah, we haven't kept one yet, have we? Right, that's our aim. They'll be a lot more worried about you than we'll be about them. I'll tell you that now. But we just want a clean sheet, boys. I just want a clean sheet. Just get a fucking clean sheet because the rest will take care of itself with us. But I thought, listen, I'm, I'm not even, honestly, I'm not even fucking, I've got nothing else to go through. Just get a clean sheet, show your class. It's as simple as that, yeah. Don't let the fine margins go against you. Assume, respect the opposition. Assume, assume that anybody can do anything. You know it's going to be their cup final. We've had all that shit. It is what it fucking is. Can we win today? Can we have a fucking great week? Yeah. And then can we go to next week to the FA Cup? Thinking here we go. Right, okay, boys? Let's go. Come on. Loads of football today. So, defending narrow, on the ball, off we go. Do you know what I'm saying? Bobby or you, done. Off we go. That's it. Kane fills in. On the ball, narrow again. Kane has to pick up. Play, playing high areas, Cal. Play in high areas, okay? Let Maka do the pieces, yeah? Look look down the side a little bit, yeah? And also, have your breathers as well. You're probably out there for 90s. So have your breathers, okay? Bobby? Yes. Keep to the 80-20 at all times. But just, yeah, but just remember, just remember as well, you are the overload, yeah? So just remember, you can win us a game. But when you, need it, when you get high, I love it. Get, it. get the fuck in there. Get the fuck in there, score a goal. <laughs> Great warm up. That's the best. Uh, that's the best defensive warm up I've seen all season by a mile, by a long way. Yeah. So on the ball, on the ball, nice and dynamic, but no, but no when to have your breathers in the game. It's a hot day. Yeah. Be smart, okay. Don't slow the game down. On the ball, dynamic. But when you need to fucking have a breather, have a breather. We know how good we are. We just need to just do the right things. I'd like to get two goals, then get seven. Right? Because that's what we know we can do. But we've got to earn the right. Yes, yeah, so let's earn the right early bells. Okay, boys? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. While Mark makes it abundantly clear which portable console is his favourite, Dorking start positively. Switch! 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 Billericke, who themselves are struggling to get results, immediately find themselves penned into their own penalty area. Kano! Mark's inevitable frustration with the referee doesn't take long to bubble over. No, Josh! That's, tell the ref, that's two. That's fucking two. Hang it up, hang it up, Fred. Hang it up. No, then you go. Good lad. Get in the box! Get in the box! This side, this side, no, 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 pull out, travel, 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 Macca, Macca, pockets, pockets. Now we don't want to go back, we don't want to go back there boys. It's a full fucking press, go forward. Dawkins' patience in possession is commendable, but with Billericke playing a high press, Mark's concerned that going backwards will eventually lead to a long ball. No, Macca feet, fucking do it! However, the visitors are not pressing effectively and Dorking are able to probe again. Kano! Callum Keeley spins neatly in the box and squares for James McShane and he gives Dorking an early lead. 
Meanwhile in the Dorking goal, Slavomir Huck is welcomed by the home fans, although Mark wants to make sure his goalkeeper is getting the game restarted as quickly as possible. Tony, does he realise there's balls behind there? Slav! Don't forget you've got the extra balls! They've got a full press so I don't want to slow it down, OK? A foul by Curtis Cumberbatch allows Dorking to test out one of their free kick routines. Not since my solicitor asked me for an aspirin and I accidentally gave him a Rohypnol has a defence been caught sleeping to the extent that Billy Rickies was when James McShane and Bobby Joe Taylor combined from this set play. The move didn't pay off but Dorking are pushing harder than a woman after 18 hours of labour. Josh Taylor, where are you? Where's Josh? Nick Wheeler and Bobby Joe Taylor are causing all sorts of problems down the left, and when Dorking spread the play, they create space to play Wheeler in. This side, come back! Come out! No, split. This is where Baz should be higher. Come on! Too slow! Too slow! One ball, one ball, but one ball early. One ball early. Do it early! No! No! Go on! Josh! Forward! Turn the box, Josh! Come on, Zach! Come on, Zach! Come on! Shoot! Wheeler is shooting on sight but seeing his efforts blocked. But the winger refuses to give up and eventually gets the luck his tenacity deserves. Keepers going, Baz. 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 So make sure Ed and Kane know if it's tight, it's a Macca 10 or it's winger early. But if we play across here, they've got a shit high press. Yeah? So just tell them to turn out. Macca, or, Macca's killing them. Macca's killing them, okay? It takes nearly half an hour for the away side to muster their first shot on goal. And it's one that doesn't exactly allow Slav Huck to garner any attention. At least until he tries to restart the game. Someone's got to engage there. Why is there not two fucking balls there? Mate, there's got to be two balls. Can you see behind the goal? John knows this, mate. It's not your fault. I'm annoyed because John knows this. See the goal where Slav is? There's one cone and one ball. There should be one on the other side. There's one missing, can you see? And down the other end, there's only one as well. into the box bounces up and hits both arms of defender Laurie Wilson, the ex-Cholton defender. I didn't know that until now, and I'm a Cholton supporter. Ref! What the fuck? I don't know what the role is. Mark's reaction is, well, fairly predictable. Lilo! Lilo! A fucking handball! Don't justify that, whatever you do. Tell me off for swearing, but that all tell me you made a mistake. You know that's handball. You want to worry about being a linesman, not fucking talking about me. Fucking handball. Fucking handball. You need another goal to kill the game, and it's a penalty 99 times out of 100. There is really a sillier reason for grown men to get into an altercation than when one wants to pick up a football and the other one won't let him, especially when it leads to 10 other men getting involved. When the excitement finally dies down, Bill and Ricky create their best chance of the match. And it's Laurie Wilson who puts the ball over the bar, the defender who lost his starting place at Cholton to Joe Gomez, interestingly, I thought. 
With form being a bit shaky and leads being lost in the weeks gone past, Mark knows just how important a penalty and potential killer third goal might have been. Ref, just say it's a mistake. I don't mind that. In 99 of 100 refs, no fucking way. That is no fucking way. What are you talking about? It's, it's, it's changed the direction of the ball. It's going to my bloke. Sit down. Sit down. Bobby, just get sat down in total concentration. Can see the fine margins. Five, you've had a great half, Bobby. You are, you are, what are you taking the red for? Well, I'll put, if you think you've had a bad game and you're confident, I'll put Kennedy on now. No, no, no. Sure. You sure? I think you've had a good game. Trust me. Right. Listen. Uh, Badge, are you all right? Yeah. What are you doing, mate? Listen to me. Twice, hear me, twice when we was under pressure, you lot are nattering to each other and you give yourselves a breather and you walked out. Right? I don't want that. I want to get the ball, I want to play, I want to, I want to fucking get their throats and stick a fucking scalpel in and fucking take them apart. I don't want to then, twice it happened, twice. Because if, if we want to come out of it today with that clean sheet we want, then we've got to make sure all the fine margins, we get it right. We don't slow the game down at any point. We keep the ball moving and we try to keep the ball going forward. They are a full press. Every time Baz goes to Ed, they've got a nine that's just gonna go like that. They're getting too high on this pitch. They're getting too high, right? They're getting too high. And I think that's a big issue for them, okay? So we can, I think in the last 10 minutes, the selection of playing versus that ball has been really good, really good. And if we're sat deep and we're, you know, we're playing across our own box and all that shit, for me, it starts becoming a little bit sloppy. We're better than that. Can we now keep the adrenaline going? Can we now literally give them no answers? Their gaffer's going mental because they've got no answers. But if we slow the game down or we start doing things differently, we might encourage them into it. I know I'm hollering at the ref. I think that bit's done. We need to just get, we need, the game just needs to flow. It needs to flow. One more goal. This lot are absolutely fucked, right? But that doesn't mean to say we're going to get that, so we've got to work really hard, boys, okay? Come on. Come on. The second half opens brightly for Dorking. Josh Taylor and Bobby Joe combine to feed Wheeler, whose cross leads to a goalmouth scramble. Chambers nearly turns the ball into his own net, but goalkeeper Louis Shamshaum somehow keeps it out. Nick Wheeler is tormenting the Billericay right back. That's that's Laurie Wilson. I haven't updated the script. Um, but Dorking aren't finishing their opponents off. Fucking chances, man! These are fucking chances. As if Dorking don't have enough wounded players, Ed Harris, who has been showing the right stuff to be a rock at the back, who has probably been Dorking's best player this season, goes down with an injured foot. Sammy, just keep the ball moving. You're the clean sheet man, okay? You know the drill. Nicky, okay? Nicky, 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 listen to me. Go and tell them to take fucking ages because you're not ready. Okay. Yeah, go and tell them to slow down. Bobby, listen to me. We need a really good, let's go, okay, mate. We want a really good 35 here, okay? 2 0, it should be 19. We've all been in these games before, right, OK? You know what happens, OK? So I know they've not had much chances, but he's a big player going off. When play finally resumes, Wheeler and goalkeeper Lewis Sham Shamshaum get back to what they were doing. How has he saved that? How has he saved that? Nicky, well done. Dorking's play undoubtedly deserves more, but it turns out it's an error from Anderson Pinto that allows Wheeler to play a beautiful first time reverse pass to McShane and give the Dorking midfielder a chance to end the contest. The children bashing the GoPro really didn't help here. Billy Ricky respond with a rare attack, and when Pinto gets past Bobby Joe Taylor, the wing back makes a grave error. Was he inside? We'll have our bollocks tested here now. 
Just have sage punters anyway, it's alright. He can't wait for this sort of shit. Follow up, guys! Why are we not fucking following up? Fucking hell, mate. Penalty specialist Slav repels the spot kick, but Norman Wabo is the first to respond. Relax! Relax! Forward! Forward! Jimmy's playing like a right winger. In the wake of the goal, Billericay have their first spell of real pressure, and having seen their lead slip a week earlier, Dorking go from carefree assailants to worried defenders. Hit it! The wobble doesn't last long. Wanderers are soon back in their opponent's box like an X in a game of noughts and crosses, but they're wasting more chances to score than the contestants on Love Island. I assume, frankly, I've never seen it. Mate, fuck me! James McShane puts the ball over the bar with the goal wide open. When Niall McManus's cross isn't converted, the third goal begins to feel unattainable. Oh, mate, that's off the line, isn't it? Kane! 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 Have you thought about Calamon instead of Bob? Bob's just had a book in Annie. They're all on now. What? They're all on. Three subs. Are they? Jimmy. Dan. And, Sa and Sammy, yeah, Ed. Sorry, Sammy, I forgot yeah. about him. It's the introduction of Dan Gallagher to defend a lead has become Mark's go-to plan for seeing games out, but joining a fast-paced game is a big challenge for a player in Dan's position. Still, his aerial prowess is indisputable, and he's not a div this time. When Gallagher wins a duel at the other end, it leads to a shot from Jimmy Mewitt. But yet again, Lewis Shamshaum makes an impressive one-handed stop. Fucking saved another one. Come on, Jimmy! Mewitt is providing a consistent threat, and despite being hauled down, somehow doesn't earn his side a free kick. They're not quite hunger for town, but Wanderers are savvy enough to wind the clock down. After conceding late on in several games prior, seeing a game out is something they know they need to improve at. You don't want to come on! Go on, go on, take How long's he got, Bob? Bobby! How long's he got? Regardless, Josh Taylor decides to abandon the corner flag routine and pull off a pirouette not seen since Torval met Dean. Harvey Sayer may have injured himself in the process of making the challenge, but by our reckoning, that's a penalty. The referee, however, gives it the other way. Hey, that's our free kick, yeah? Yeah, call this. Sammy! He's in the area. We're a little bit open. In front of you, is a bit open. Nerves are jangling like a caretaker's keys. Can you, can you, well, he's there four. So can you buzz him and say we're done? The game is moving well beyond added time, and even the opposition bench agree the referee seems to have lost track. Has he? Yeah, I thought he went out for there. If it's over, can you tell him, please? Otherwise, I'm blaming you if it fucks up. Come on. Seriously, if you know it's over, tell him. Ref! 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 He's saying it's done! Ref! He's telling you it's done! The fucking line, Owen! What's that done? What's that done? Brilliant, lads. Brilliant. Brilliant. It's loose enough, yeah?
The ref couldn't even get the fucking time right. I mean, fuck me. If we can't get the time right, fuck me. How can Lardo's going, yeah. Bad, Bob, that is so bad, that tackle. It is so bad. You can never hang a leg out, ever. Ever, ever. This level, even if you don't foul them, they'll fucking go over. No, excellent. Well done. I called you man of the match, literally, but then two minutes later, you gave the fucking ball away. Right, cut, cut, cut the golden rules. We didn't get our clean sheet, okay? He saves penalties. So he saves, I'd say, one in two. So when he's lining up against a penalty, you, you know you do your bit. You're, if your keeper saves a penalty and you don't do the rebound, it's fucking cardinal sin of football, right? So that's poor, right? Great save. Bob cannot do shit like that in games like that, okay? Basics, basics. Stand up, don't give the bloke the fucking joy. That's that. Apart from that, all round, solid performance. Solid per that was the biggest example of men v boys you'll ever get. That was an absolute 2-1 mauling. That was a fucking, do that in a minute, Josh. That was a fucking mauling. Mauling. Proper mauling. Keepers pulled off a cut of side. How the fuck he saved that one, that pile driver from you, I don't fucking know. I don't think he knows. But we, um, we done a load of things in that game really, really fucking well. We trained well all week and we got our rewards. We was positive and we got our rewards, right? It was a 2-1 fucking mauling that we can build on. Okay? And I know Macca has a better down front of goal. He gets at you today easy on his own, let alone the rest of you. Bob, I love how disciplined you are getting in that role. It's working for us. I think the ability, the fact that we, what, what I'm noticing now, you've been here sort of more than sort of five, six games, is that you're now noticing when that ball's a good ball and when we don't need to do that ball. And you've done it at a perfect time today. And it really helps you out when you've got someone who can do that. Um, so I thought it was a very disciplined performance all round, boys. I thought we outplayed them. I thought, I thought, I thought that there was an absolute clear distance between us and them as a team. A massive distance, OK? So this week we'll train again, FA Cup. We can have a week where we th think about winning. But I've got to say, to a man, it was excellent. Really good. Well done. Well, Cheers, boys. Well done, well done Ed. Well done. I'm really pleased. Um, I thought we had a good week. And so I thought we'd win today. Um, thought we had enough chances to win about five matches, but show quite a bit of resolve. We'd never really threatened, I didn't think. Um, but fucking hell, just um, would not have made things difficult. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It wasn't a nice last half hour, and then the ref just started. Ref, I mean, the ref, he couldn't get, couldn't get much worse for him, and then, then he forgot the time. How are you feeling? Tired. No, I'm really pleased with win. We need the three points on the board, so yeah, it's brilliant. Brilliant win. You had a few chances today. Yeah. Do you feel um, relieved? Yeah, the third? I think in the end, when it's 2-1 in the end and you're down to the last five minutes, anything can happen. So yeah, I think we held it in pretty well at the end. But as you say, it could have been a lot more comfortable towards the end of the game. But yeah, no, we got there in the end. So yeah, really pleased. Why are you so good at penalties? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, oh, can you read body shape? Uh, well, I don't want to tell my secret totally, but okay, nah, I'm, I'm joking. It's, uh, today, actually, I had help, I have to be honest. Uh, I think the buzzer captain was telling me that he's, he's go to my left. But I normally try to read the player, normally I try to read his body shape, his eyes and everything around him. We also do analysis where, where the penalty taker usually is going, but I have no idea where he's going <laughs> until, so yeah. Unfortunately, still come back to him, which is so annoying for the keeper. We're a bit rebuilding confidence. Do you know what I mean? Like we're rebuilding everything. Really, we've got, we've got such a issue with our injuries, and you know, I thought today if we got a third, if we got a third, it, it, it would be seven, eight nil. If I'm honest, um, and uh, there's a big penalty shot in the first half um, that I thought was a blatant penalty. To be honest. Um, I weren't happy about it, <laughs> to say the least. But then at half time, he explained it to me so brilliantly. But by the end of it, I wanted to go around his house and watch fucking, watch the X Factor. You know, like he, he just explained it. He just said that uh, the, the laws changed and um, he went to kick it and it's hit his hand. His hand's by his side. So even though it sort of, um, even though it um, would have gone to our player to score, 
He said it ain't a penalty. Mark has since seen the penalty incident again and would like to retract his apology. He does believe it was a penalty and stands by everything he said prior to this interview. Obviously, we've got confidence in our own ability. We feel that we should be high up as we can be, but we know teams want to come here and try and get a win under their belts. Like everyone is really, everyone's starting the season, everyone's got their wants to try and do as well as they can to start off the season and they can kick on. So yeah, we're disappointed with how we've started, but we feel now that we're getting the performances back in and hopefully now the results will just take care of ourselves, really. And you've got a cup game next week, the FA Cup kicks Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm dying for you to have a cup run. Like, it would mean so much to me. You had no idea how you were reading my mind. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, been in Dorking for a couple of years. And we had a couple of really unlucky first rounds or second rounds where we came in FA Cup, I mean, we, came, we played the games in the wrong time, we didn't play really well, and we I always, you know, you come in and only you dream about some good FA Cup run. And it's never happened for the last five years, even if you feel like, yeah, this, this year is a good year. So I hope that this year will be a good year. <laughs> we have a business model with a hole in it, a foot long, but we don't account any money from the Cups. The reason you see a lot of clubs that reduce their playing budgets near Christmas is when, they, when the Cups are done, they'll go, right, where are we in the league? Right, we now know what our income was, so now we'll reduce down the budget. Um, but for me, the bigger thing is it's not just that. It's like, you know, we get 3,000 in it, um, which we would for an FA Cup first round proper. You know, what that does to the club locally, the profile, you know, the amount of those fans that will come back and everyone loves, loves coming here, do you know what I mean? Everyone loves the way we play. So it kind of really want to put us on the map. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, FA Cups, the magic of the Cup. So we want to obviously get as far up as possible, far in the competition as possible and hopefully get a big team down here. That's the aim, really. Obviously, we're not expected to win the FA Cup by any means, but we want to try and get, progress as far as possible, get a big club down here, make the club some money and get a good, get a good um, team down here to try and test our wits about. Yeah, I think last year there's something like 28 non-league teams in the first round proper. 28. Um, so it's extremely attainable. Um, it's also, you know, if you look at, because there's so many non-league teams, it's quite easy to end up in the third round proper. You know, if the draw goes your way. Uh, we looked at, haven't went to Marine last year. Let's not forget, Josh Taylor, our lab, was in that team. Um, they lost at Marine, but Marine then drew Spurs. Um, and that's how near you are to it, you know, non-league clubs drawing non-league clubs. So I think we are going to be all out to win, you know, that, that, that FA Cup because we've got such a good side. It does take a good side to beat us. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're all out for that one. Thank you so much for watching Bunch of Amateurs. We've asked before to hit like and subscribe and make comments and you guys are doing it. So that means I'm going to ask again because that seems to work and it's really helping us grow. And I want to thank you for that too. So thanks.